It's Adam Hike with the American Golf Federation with another performance and fitness tip to help you improve your golf game. Today I've got one move and one move only for you. This is probably the ultimate core exercise for golfers. It's very challenging, but if you can perform it, it's going to definitely improve your golf game because it not only demands stability throughout different regions of the body, but also requires excellent core strength. So let's get into it. I'll give you some modifications to help you get going and then slowly progress you to the full movement. Thanks again for joining me. Have fun with this one. Okay, so the opposite extremity extension from plank position is really challenging. But I know you can do it and I know because I'm going to give you some modifications to make, allow you to slowly progress to it. So let's get into it. I'm going to demonstrate the full movement here. Push up position and I'm going to just extend my opposite extremities right there. And now I'm going to try to keep my hips nice and square, core muscles nice and tight, full extension. I want to reach from my fingers to my opposite heel, should be in a straight line. Now, obviously there's a lot of shoulder stability there, there's a lot of core stability because I want to keep my abdominals towards the mat. I don't want to see rotation in the hips as I'm doing it, so it's pretty darn challenging. Okay, you get hip internal and external stability, you get good ankle stability, a lot of stuff going on in this movement and a lot of strength required to perform it. Now if you're at the level that you can perform this exercise already, I want you to try to hold that for 30 to 60 seconds okay? and slowly progress to the other side and try to perform maybe three to five on each side for an excellent workout. Here's the modifications if you need it. The first one is just going to start from your hands and knees, just to get the basic dynamic function down. So I'm going to extend my opposites. Now I'm just going to hold that there, trying to again stabilize, keeping my hips towards the floor. Now it's, to keep your hips towards the floor, I'm going to take my back foot here, I'm going to rotate it towards the floor. See how that lowers that hip down, squaring those hips off. Also puts tension on the opposite side. Hold that. Now progression from there, I'm going to bring up the back foot. So here we go, go to the other side. Now as I find my stability here, I want to bring that back foot off the floor, increasing the demand for stability. Obviously to step it up to the next level into that plank position, just holding it here requires a lot of core strength. Now I'm going to just extend one point. Hold that, place that back down, and then go to the opposite leg. I want you to work in that transverse section of the body. So go from right arm to left leg and left arm to right leg. So that you're working, forcing coordination throughout your movement pattern, similar to the golf swing, where you're going from the right side to the left side. Okay? So again, try to hold these maybe for 15 seconds per side, and then slowly progress to the full movement of that opposite extremity extension. Try this exercise, because I know if you do, and you can complete it successfully on any of the modification levels or on the full movement, it will certainly help you improve your golf game and your overall function of, the, of your body today. Thanks again for joining me. We'll see you soon.